Hello, Royal fans, and welcome to French Fried Trades. Today, we're going to be building Union Pacific 1982, the Missouri Pacific Heritage Unit here. And this is an SD70 Ace locomotive. So let's get right into the build now. So as usual, we're going to start with the rear coupler, so take out a dark oak stair, and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block down, we're going to put three blue concrete on the bottom middle, and an upside down dark prismarine stair on either side. Above that, five blue concrete across here. In front of it, a three block tall T-shape of blue concrete in the center, and hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, a 5x3 of blue concrete coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then, we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs coming up this for stairs, three on this top middle back here, and three on this side. Then, take out a dark oak bed skate, open one up above this rail, and on this side above this rail. Then we're going to put two end rods here, two end rods here. Up here, we'll put two mangrove fence gates and a creeper head. Now, come in front of this and put a dark oak fence gate sideways above each rail. In front of that, we're going to do a set of netherite wheels, and we're going to put a cauldron in between them. Then on the middle, we're going to do a string and a lectern. Then a sideways dark oak fence gate on the center, and then two lightning rods on either side. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. Then a lectern in the middle. A sideways dark oak fence gate in the middle. Then two lightning rods on either side again. Then a final set of netherite wheels. A cauldron in between them. Then a string and a lectern in the center. And then we'll put a sideways dark oak fence gate on the end of each wheel down here. Then take stone brick blocks and do a line up the center on this second layer till you get above this lectern. In front of it, we're going to use stone brick on the bottom middle and we're going to go three wide and 18 blocks long for the bottom of our fuel tank. So a three by 18. Then on the side of this, we'll do a full row of upside down, outward facing stone brick stairs. Come over to this side and do the same thing, a full row of upside down stairs on this side. Then we'll come up top, go back to stone brick blocks, and we'll fill the whole top middle three of this fuel tank with stone brick blocks down to the end of it, leaving each outside edge open here. Then we'll do a full row of stone brick blocks on this conductor side and leave the other side open. In front of this, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate on either side and a lectern going this way. In front of that, a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. Then we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate, a string, and a lectern in the center. Two lightning rods above this rail, two on this other side. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. Then two lightning rods on the side. In the middle, a dark oak fence gate and a lectern going this way. Two lightning rods on this side. Then a final set of netherite wheels and a cauldron between them. Then a sideways dark oak fence gate on the end of each front wheel. Then a line of stone brick blocks up this top middle until you're aligned with these fence gates here. Now take polish andesite slabs, put two above the wheel, knock out the other one and do that for all three wheels. Then we'll do the same thing on this back truck, two slabs above the wheels and knock out the inner ones. So you have a slab floating on the side above each wheel. And then repeat the process on this side here. And one more corner to go, do the same thing up here. Then we're going to come underneath these slabs and hang an upside down grindstone in front of each of the wheels. Do 
the same thing on these back wheels. And then we'll do the other side. Grindstones in front of these wheels. And one more corner to go. Grindstones in front of these wheels here. Then we're going to crouch and put a dark oak sign on the side of all three of the grindstones. Do the same thing on this side. And then of course we'll get the rear truck. So signs on these grindstones. And then up here we'll do a full row of dark oak vent skates here. And a full row up here. Come over to this side and a full row of dark oak vent skates in here. And right up in here. Then we're going to come stand on this and crouch. Take polished andesite slabs again. Put two here. Two here. Do the same thing on this side. Here. And here. So the truck looks like that from the side. And then we'll do the same thing on the front. So crouch. Two slabs here. Two here. That two here, and two here. Then on this one, by the front, on this engineer side, take out this fence gate, put in a block and a bell. Then a grindstone here and here, and a grindstone here and here. Then come down to the back truck, and a grindstone here and here. Same thing on this side. Then we'll come up here and crouch again and put a lightning rod here and here. Then one here and one here. Then we'll come down to the front truck. One here, one here. Then one here and one here. Then we're coming in front of this with blue concrete. And in front of it, we're gonna make a five by three coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a T-shape, three blocks tall in the middle, hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, three dark prismarine stairs on the bottom middle, upside down stair facing outward at each side. Above that, blue concrete in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three smooth quartz slabs on this top middle, three coming up this side gap, and three coming up this side. Then take a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around and stack it up to this blue concrete. Under it a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then open a fence gate above each rail. Then we're gonna put two end rods here and two end rods right here. Now we're gonna come on this engineer side to the back of the fuel tank and do our air tanks. We're gonna put six sideways anvils at the back, then a mangrove sign wither skeleton skull, mangrove button, and then a line of anvils to the front of the fuel tank. Then come behind the fuel tank, right here put a grindstone, and on this side behind it put a brewing stand. Then align with that gap on the other side, and we'll put a mangrove sign, player head, mangrove button. Now come up top on this third layer, and we're gonna go end to end on the top middle three with stone brick blocks. Just bring it right down to the other end here. Then once that's done, we're gonna take out smooth quartz slabs. And on this top corner, we're gonna put three slabs here, three on this side. Then we'll come to the other end, three slabs here, three here. Then take polished andesite stairs, and we're gonna put two stairs upside down in a back-to-back T-shape -back pattern right here for the jacking point. And same thing right here, two stairs and an upside down back-to-back T-shape -back on each side. Then we'll come back through and fill all the rest of this top outside edge with smooth cord slabs. 
and we'll do the same thing on this side. Fill all this with smooth cord slabs. And now our base is done, and we'll come up front and start working on the cap here. We're going to come on top of the front on the third block back. On the left, two light blue wool, then a warp door, then a wool, redstone block, and we got to close that door, then a two by two of light blue wool on the other side here, then three light blue wool on the top middle, and a forward facing Prismary brick stair on each side. Come behind it, two wool on either side, three across the top middle, and an outward facing Prismary brick stair on either side. Then on bottom of this side, we're going to do light blue shulker boxes and do seven of them. On this side, we're going to do wool, shulker box, wool, shulker box, wool. On this middle one, put a ladder. Then right here, we'll do five light blue wool. And on this side, we'll do six. Then we're going to put light blue wool at each end here, three white concrete in the middle. Then light blue wool on the front, three white concrete. Then over here, we're gonna put a door here and one going this way. On top of the white concrete, three black stained glass panes on either side. Back here, light blue wool. Across this, two black stained glass, light blue wool, two black stained glass. Then we need to get a white stained glass pane. And we're gonna put a white one on the side of the windshield here and here. Up here, three light blue wool and three light blue stained glass panes on the front of it. Then we'll put a row of outward facing prismarine brick stairs on the top of each side here. And go ahead and fill the rest of this roof with light blue wool here. Now come behind the cab on top. And up here we're going to do a three by six of light blue wool coming back. Behind it, two cobble deep slate in the middle, two iron bars on either side of it. Behind that, a smoker in the middle, light blue wool on either side, three across the back. Up here, a C-shape of warp trap doors around this exhaust. Then we're going to come down in this corner with light blue wool, and right here do a column of four. Then a column of two. In this gap, put two light blue stained glass panes. Then we need to come behind it and put two wool behind the stained glass. Then we're going to grab a warped sign here put a warp sign above the stained glass panes. Then we're going to come behind this and do a three by four of light blue wool coming up. Just like that. Then two more light blue shulker boxes here and two more light blue wool up there. So the walkway looks like that. Then behind this, we're going to do a line of light blue wool to the back of this section. Then at the back of this, above it, two blue concrete here. Then three wool in front of it. Then a line of wool. And then up here, fill the rest of this with blue concrete. We're going to come to this side, one block in from the outer edge. And we're just going to copy this pattern of light blue wool and blue concrete directly across until we filled in this whole side here. Just like that. Then on the bottom of this, six deep slate tile walls coming back. Above it, six light blue wool. And then another six walls on top of that. Then behind this here, the box extends a little more so we're going to do two columns of three light blue wool right here in this corner. And then we'll move down to the rear end of the locomotive. So we're going to come to the back on the third block in in the middle and make a pattern of blue concrete like this. And we're going to raise that up so it's five blocks tall. Then right here we're going to close two oak trap doors. Then, come in front of this, a column of three netherite here, 
three coming up the bottom and another column of three. Right here, put three anvils. On the side of this, we'll do a three by three of iron bars right here. Then three blue concrete on either side of this. And a three by three of iron bars on this side. Then on top, we'll do two layers of blue concrete on the top of each side to the front of this. On this top middle, we'll do two blue concrete, cobble deep slate, two blue concrete, an oak trap door on here, surround it with four iron trap doors for the fan. Then three ladders on the side here, and three on this side here. Now come behind this, and we're gonna change this block to blue wool, and then these two to blue wool. On the sides of this, we're gonna put a column of five blue stained glass panes here, and five on this side here. Then we'll come up in front of this. On the top of each side, put a blue concrete sticking up. Then in front of it up here, we'll do another eight blue concrete coming forward. And then we'll just come across to this side and make it a big rectangle. And then we'll put three across the middle of this so it turns into two squares up there. Then down here, we're gonna do a dark prismarine stair, a blue wool, and close a jungle trapdoor on it, and two blue concrete above it. Then right here, two columns of four blue concrete. Right here, three deep slate tile walls, and a blue concrete. So it looks like that. Then we'll fill the rest of this four high with blue concrete to the front of this section. Right here. And we'll do the same thing on this side, fill this in four tall with blue concrete to the front of this section here. Under where this sticks out, we're gonna do a dark prismarine stair, three deep slate tile, dark prismarine. Three deep slate tile, dark prismarine, all upside down like that. Then we're gonna repeat it on this side, so a dark prismarine, three deep slate tile, dark prismarine, three deep slate tile, dark prismarine. Then we'll come up top and fill in the middle of these with blue concrete on each of them here. Then in the center of each of these squares, a cobbled deep slate with an oak trap door on them. Then surround each of them with polished black stone blocks and surround them on top with polished black stone slabs for the fans. Then we're gonna fill these corners in between all here with black carpet, like that. Now we'll come on this middle section here and we'll do a line of light blue wool on the bottom of each side. Then above that, we'll do a line of blue concrete on each side. And actually, this is wrong. We're gonna come back here on the bottom at the back of the light blue wool and we're gonna actually take out these three and change them to blue concrete. Do the same thing on this side, change these three to blue concrete. Then above this, we'll do a layer of light blue wool on each side again. And then above this, we're gonna fill it three wide with blue concrete up here. Then in the middle of the front, two prismarine brick slabs, open back-to-back -back fence gates for a horn, three more slabs. Then on the outer edges, cover it with warp trap doors here, and on this side over here. And actually the dark blue comes forward a bit up here, so change this back slab to dark prismary. Then take out light blue carpet, come up front, and we'll do a T-shape of carpet on this front porch then cover the notes with it. Up here in the middle, one block back, we're gonna put two smooth quartz slabs, skip a block, and a flower pot. Then we're gonna fill the rest of everything up here with light blue carpet. And just keep bringing it back here and cover these iron bars. Then we're gonna take out blue carpet and we'll go around these fans back here down it in between this fan and around the back here. 
Then on top of this box, we're gonna put five blue carpet up here. Then come down here and fill this whole walkway with blue carpet. Then two on the middle here, one here. Come on this side and fill this whole walkway with blue carpet as well. Then one on the shulker box and two up here. Then we'll do our railing, so take a birch fence out. Right here we're gonna come up four. Here we're gonna go up three over one, up two. Here up three, over one, up two. Here come up by four. Then we're also gonna need a chain and warped fences. We're gonna put two warped fences here, two here, and a chain across this gap. Then we'll come and work on the back. Come back here with birch fences. Right here, come up four. Here, come up three, over one, up two. Here, come up three, over one, and up two. And here, come up four. Then two warp fences here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then go back to warp fences, connect it up right here, and start bringing it all the way forward up this side of the locomotive. When you get right here, come up one over one, up one again, and then over till you get right here. Then we'll come to this side, at the back, connect our warp fences up here, and start bringing them forward. When we get right here, We'll put two on the end, then up two right here, and then over until it connects up with the cap. Now come up front, we're gonna put a glow item frame on either of these fences here with frog lights. Then on this top middle up here, a glow item frame with a frog light for the headlight. And on either side of it, we'll do a dark oak sign with our number, which is 1982. Then we'll hit both of these with white dye and then a glow ink sack on each one. Now we'll come down to the back. Come down here, put a glow item frame with a frog light on either of these fences. Then a glow item frame with a frog light above this trap door. On either side of that, we'll do a warped sign with 1982 and hit those with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we're gonna take warped fence gates, come down here and open a column of fence gates coming up this left-hand side for the ladder. And now we have a bunch of banners to make. So come into a loom with a red banner and white dye. We're gonna put a horizontal on the middle and then a white border. Then go to a light blue banner and put a white horizontal stripe on the top. And we'll come up front here. We're gonna put this red one right here. And actually we're gonna change this redstone block to light blue wool right here. And then on the middle of the nose, we're gonna put the red banner and then the blue and white one on either side, you'll have to crouch to put it on that door. Then we're gonna come over here and crouch, and we're gonna put two light blue banners over this door on the side to cover it. And then we have more to make. So, we're gonna come back into our loom again. This time we'll be using a blue banner and white dye. We're gonna put three horizontal stripes on it, then go to blue dye, and we're gonna put this triangle across the bottom like this. Then a new banner, do the three stripes again. Go to blue dye and do the opposite triangle. Then a new banner, do three white stripes again. 
go to blue dye. And we're going to put blue on this top right corner. New banner, three white stripes again. Then we'll put blue on the top left corner on this one. And finally one more with just three horizontal white stripes. And we'll come place this and this will be the beginning of our bird logo. So we're going to put the one with blue in the corner right here. Then behind it we'll do three of the white stripes. And then behind that we'll do the one with this triangle on it. So it looks like that. Then we'll come to this side. We'll put one with blue on the left corner here. Three of the white stripe ones. And then this triangle one. And then go ahead and clear all those banners and we have more to make. So we're gonna come back into our loom here. And we're gonna be using a white banner and blue dye. We're gonna put a horizontal stripe on top and then this triangle, then go to light blue dye and a horizontal on bottom so it looks like that. Then a new white banner and blue dye, horizontal on top. We're gonna do the opposite triangle from the other one. Go to light blue and a horizontal on bottom. Then we're gonna do one with a light blue stripe on bottom, dark blue stripe on top. Then a blue banner and light blue dye and a horizontal on top and bottom. And we'll come place these. For the bird head right here, we're gonna put this one here and then this pointy one on here. And we'll come over here, put this one here and this pointy one in front of it here for the bird head. Now we can clear those two pointy ones and we're going to come back into a loom, blue banner, white dye, and we're going to put a vertical in the center, go to light blue and a horizontal on top and bottom. This will represent the bird foot, so we're going to put that one we just made centered under here, right here, and do the same thing on this side, center it right here. Then we'll take these blue stripe ones, we're going to put one behind it here, and then we're going to come forward across here with them, and two more up here. Then on this next level up here, we'll put two here, one up in front of the iron bars. Then back here, we'll put two of these stripe ones right here. Then we have to repeat it all on the other side, so two here one down here and then fill in this then two here one in front of these iron bars now come back into a loom this time with a white banner and red dye put these stripes on it and then make the top half blue then we're going to come up on the side right here and I put three birch signs here but there only needs to be two. Then the banner and two more signs. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're gonna come down here and we'll do two signs, the banner and two signs, like that. Now we'll do the interior. So come inside the cab here and down in this corner, we're gonna put an end portal. Then take smooth sandstone slabs, stack it up to the window here, and on this side here. Come down in here, turn around and put a door right here. Then we'll come back in here, go back to our slabs, and on the side stack the slabs up two blocks tall. Then two blocks tall on this side as well. Then we'll take smooth sandstone stairs. And we need to make a staircase coming up, but I made it too far back right here. It needs to be one block in front of this door. 
and fill this gap with two slabs. Then a slab here and here. On the left, a button. On the middle, a glow item frame with an end crystal and a lever on the right. Turn around and put a stair on each side for seats. Then back here, do a blast furnace and a frog light to light it up. And then we'll come back outside here. Now I'm realizing in the edit here, I forgot a few details. So we're back in to fix this. I forgot to put that banner that's red on the other side. So come back into a loom with a red banner and white dye, put a border on it and a horizontal white stripe in the middle. So I put it on this side of the nose, but I forgot to put it over here on this side right here. Then up here in front of this banner, we're gonna put four light blue stained glass panes. And I also forgot the MU cable up here. So up here, we're gonna put two mangrove fences and a creeper head. And now it's completed. So there we have it, folks. We've completed Union Pacific 1982, the Mopac Heritage Unit. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.